South Korea's shipyards produce nearly half of the world's shipping vessels. Every year, thousands of tons of steel is bent, hauled and welded until it's turned into one of these. It's such juggernauts and the construction here is so relentless that even a tiny change in the design can mean huge efficiency savings down the line. And that's why I'm here, tucked away at the back of the shipyard at the company's research and development labs. Here, they're working on refining every aspect of ship design with the aim of making it safer, more fuel efficient and more eco-friendly. Environment and energy issues are very important. So in order to meet that kind of uh, new demands, we need new technologies. So we are, uh, developed, we are developing new technologies for uh, less energy and more eco-friendly. Uh, ships. This is the latest research project. It's called HiFin, and the aim is to tackle the problem of bubbles. To me, that propeller looks like it's going really slowly. Does it to you? It's actually going really fast, but the strobe light is catching it. If you look, you can see streams of bubbles being frozen in time and dragging along the edge of the propeller which is really quite beautiful. Of course, heavy industry is where we first saw robotics really take a hold. They make things safer, they make things much more efficient, and of course they do the job of many, many people. And they don't need a break. This one's doing some cutting. And deep down in the bowels of the two tankers being built in the yard, other robots are slaving away. These mechanoid welders are faster and more accurate than their human counterparts, which is important because one flawed seam could have catastrophic consequences. And while these particular robots still need a human supervisor, you can see how, as the trend towards automation continues, it could mean big changes in the shipyard. In the near future, uh, the automation and the robotics uh, will lack reduce the people for time being. So, but the intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence uh, getting higher, then maybe we should worry about that, but uh, for time being, not so much in the eyes.